welcome to The Natural View. I'm Maggie Jacqua. I'm the content director of Whole Foods Magazine. And I'm here with my co-host, Todd Polly of 24 Stories Marketing. Hi, Todd. Hi, Maggie. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. And we have a special guest today. We have Danielle Citrolo. She's PharmD. She's Vice President of Scientific and Regulatory Affairs at Kiowa Hockey USA. Welcome, Danielle. Hey, Danielle. Thank you for having me. Hello. <laughs> Good to have you here. So today we're going to learn about Cetria glutathione, which is a branded glutathione produced by Kaiwahaka, and it helps maintain optimum glutathione levels and overall good health, supports healthy aging, healthy immune system, detoxification. Um, so this ingredient just has a key place in so many of the most in-demand categories today, including immune support, sports nutrition, Nutri Beauty. So we're going to explore all of that in this talk and really educate people on the opportunities there. But let's start with the basics. Um, if you could just talk to us about antioxidants, what they are and why are they so important? Absolutely. Yes. So antioxidants are so important to our overall health and well-being. And really to understand an antioxidant, I think you have to understand what free radicals are. Um, so free radicals are, you know, they're basically unstable molecules, molecules that don't have an electron. And they're kind of wild and crazy. And basically when they are so unstable, they react with everything and they, they basically cause damage to our cells over time that leads to damage to tissues, which can then, you know, lead to um, disease, chronic diseases. So I kind of compare it to a pinball machine where maybe the free radical is a pinball and our cells and tissues are the walls. And if you can think about how that pinball kind of just wildly crashes into things and, you know, basically over time that just destroys our cell walls, our our tissues and, and, and really creates a lot of damage. So where do free radicals come from? They do naturally form in our body, so we can't help but have them. So part of it is just what we have to deal with. And we, you know, um, and that comes into, which I'll get into why antioxidants exist. But um, part of it is also lifestyle driven and kind of exposure to external sources that can create free radicals. So things like UV rays, um, X-rays, pesticides, harmful chemicals, heavy metals, um, pollutants. So definitely external sources we can think about in terms of, you know, lifestyle. So now that we kind of understand free radicals, that's what antioxidants are for. Antioxidants exist as compounds that are there to basically donate that electron to that crazy free radical and calm them down, basically neutralize them, make them stable, make them float away and go away. So they don't, they don't create any problems, right? So that's the importance of what an uh, antioxidant does. It basically neutralizes these harmful free radicals. So basically, um, they're a protector to our body. And when we have an imbalance, when we have too much of the free radicals as compared to how much antioxidants we have, um, that's when we, we go into a state called oxidative stress, right? So maybe people are familiar with that term. And there's a lot of research that shows that oxidative stress, you know, is implicated in many different chronic diseases. So um, so that sort of summarizes a little bit of why antioxidants are so important um, to our health and wellness and really what they do. All right. So, Daniel, I understand there's one antioxidant that's been dubbed the master antioxidant. Can you explain that a little bit and then talk about the branded ingredient cetria glutathione in that context? Yeah, you took the words master antioxidant out of my mouth. <laughs> it's so, what I've never used before. So let's talk. Yeah. Let's hear about it. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so um, Cetria um, is a branded form of glutathione and glutathione as a compound is considered a master antioxidant. And that is because um, it's an antioxidant that is very versatile in terms of the types of free radicals and chemicals that it can neutralize and protect our body from. So if you look at different antioxidants, a lot of them are a little bit specific with what they can, you know, what kind of chemicals and free radicals they can react with. 
glutathione. I think we don't even understand how many things like it's, it's the, this, the research is still coming, how many different roles and things it can do and how it can act as an antioxidant. So it's, it's definitely one of the most versatile antioxidants that exists. We actually make it. So it's something our body naturally produces and not just our body. It exists in all living species, even down to a single cell eukaryote. So that gives you like the importance of this one antioxidant that every living cell has it, right? But then um, even more so in terms of what it can do as an antioxidant, actually also recycles other antioxidants like vitamin C and vitamin E. So it's kind of like at the top of the pecking order in terms of you know what it can do. It, it works as this huge antioxidant that really protects our bodies from so many things, but also helps like really keep those other antioxidants you know, levels up and, 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 and stable. So that's amazing. <laughs> that's fascinating. Yeah. And on the website, the, the company has the website and there's a lot of resources on there. And I love that it goes from like the most basic, you have this infographic that really just gives you the night, not, like sums up the key points to know about glutathione. And then there's a whole section on the science. So for anybody who wants to really go into a deep dive, you can really explore the science and, and what's out there. But another handy tool that I discovered um, was the glutathione levels quiz. And so there's this just quick little quiz that can give people a general sense of what their needs might be. So of course I had some fun taking that. Oh, I'm, and, I'm um, heading there right after this. That sounds yeah. fun. <laughs> Definitely I'm does. curious now. Yeah, it, it was, it's just, it's an easy one. And, you know, <laughs> due to various factors, you know, age and such, um, you know, I learned that I could benefit. Um, from adding this to my daily routine. So I just want to explore that a little bit. Um, you know, why should someone use um, glutathione? Why should somebody be taking this? Yeah. And one thing actually, just thinking about you going on the website, one thing I didn't mention was Cetria as a branded product or ingredient actually has research, you know, behind it that shows that it can increase glutathione levels, which is, you know, basically glutathione levels are associated with, you know, health status. There's a lot of research behind people with higher levels, whether they're getting it through the diet, whether they're supplementing, you know, have a better health status in terms of preventing specific chronic diseases in the, in the research. So just one tidbit I forgot on, on the Cetria, which yeah, it's good to know. <laughs> yeah. So in terms of, you know, who should take it? Well, you know, when the more you read, the more you learn, when you go to our website, the more you actually, I personally think, everybody should be taking it, right? So it's so important because, you know, like I said, first and foremost, you want to get it through your diet. That's the best way to get all our nutrition, right? So every single cell has glutathione. So the, you know, the studies have shown people with better diets that get more glutathione have a better health status in terms of, you know, specific diseases, like I mentioned. So obviously getting it through the diet is first, but None of us have a perfect diet. <laughs> so, you know, I always think that, you know, supplementing it um, is, is, is a way of like ensuring that you're getting what you need and maybe like a form of insurance, right? And so specific areas where we think people might, you know, benefit would be like you mentioned aging. So we do know there is research that shows that as we get older, uh, our glutathione levels decline, whether, you know, we don't know exactly why. So it's, is it because of diet? Is it because we're not making as much? We don't know, but they're at risk for lower levels, which puts them more at risk for diseases. So, so that's a, that's a population for healthy aging that you can start bumping up those levels as we get older. Um, definitely somebody I would highly recommend, um, you know, thinking about lifestyle too, looking around, looking at your med, you know, medications or different things I mentioned earlier that kind of increase that oxidative stress level. Um, so people like that. And then another area of, or specific people would be, you know, now the, the sports, I guess, you know, people who exercise like to mm -hmm. maybe not, not like the normal casual, but people that are a little bit more intense about their exercise more frequently, higher, longer levels, because of that increase in metabolism, they basically naturally produce like higher levels of free radicals as well. So mm -hmm. those, those sports, you know, high performing sports or sports individuals, I think could definitely benefit from, you know, just bumping up those glutathione levels as well. But I mean, there's a lot of different scenarios that I could give of people who think, you know, who I think could benefit. Um, I think everybody a little bit can hurt for everybody, 
but um, always, of course, diet is is probably initially the best source. And there's there's you can look up like you know basically fresh fresh vegetables. The more fresh something is, the less cooked, the more glutathione levels are in it. Well, That's Todd interesting. Like, like the Grand Canyon, so he. <laughs> he <has laughs> so I'm, so I'm dangerously that. low. <laughs> oh wow. Um. You know, that is interesting. And it, it does give me a, you know, tomorrow morning when I go into the gym, all those people I've been jealous of, I'm just going to walk up and go, hey, you might, you might want to check this out. Because you got so many free radicals. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be my opening. Um, so we've talked a little bit about, about use cases. And I'm just wondering, because it sounds like there are several different use cases and some of them look very different, you know, from that person who's really into fitness and exercise, and then maybe someone else who's, whose lifestyle and diet choices might not allow them to get enough. I mean, those are two very different groups and, and sometimes one in the same. Um, but having said that, what do you, do you have any advice for someone listening to this or retailers explaining in the aisles some of these use cases? Where do you start? You know, where um, obviously go to the website and, and, and do the quiz, but, you know, do you, where do you go with those two different groups or those two different use cases or, or anyone that wants to start in that way? Well, the good thing is with antioxidants, I, people are familiar enough with them. So I think, you know, definitely at least explaining it's an antioxidant and the importance in it as a general antioxidant mm -hmm. is important. And then just what things can lower our antioxidant and seeing if those kind of things relate to whatever specific situation they're in. Um, you know, cause even I think one area that I forgot would be like kind of me, I'm at a, almost getting out of that category, but kid, people with young children, cause they're constantly getting sick. Like kids, yeah, kids are constantly point. sick. Right. So, you know, you're, you're always battling illness. You're always down. You're not sleeping. Right. So those parents that are, you know, with young children sick all the time, they need a little boost of that antioxidant. Also it helps with immune system too. So but I think, you know, explaining that, you know, lifestyle affects our antioxidant status. I think it just kind of, cause it's too hard to like, you don't want to niche, right? You don't want to say this could work for this person because it yeah. may not apply, but there could be something in that individual's life that would apply in terms of not having enough antioxidant. So I think it's having a conversation and, and, and the staff who know antioxidants should understand, you know, what, what makes what lessens our antioxidant status or what puts us more at risk or having less is an important, I think, education point. It's a great point. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. And like you said, there's a lot of resources on the website. And as you were talking about, you know, specific to the branded ingredients. So I want to just take a minute to talk about branded ingredients. And we've, we've really seen consumer understanding increasing. Um, uh, the Council for Responsible Nutrition, CRN, their 2021 surveys found that 77% of respondents 18 to 34 and 74% of those 35 to 54 said they're more likely to have confidence in supplements with branded ingredients compared to those with just generic ingredients. So could you talk to us about like, what's the importance, what's the added value of going with a branded ingredient versus something generic? Absolutely. You know, I was going to say research shows that those consumers, it's about the consumers that are proactive in educating and learning about products. Those are the consumers that are seeking branded products um, because they understand the importance of research behind these ingredients to prove their efficacy. They understand the safety, you know, the importance of safety and consistency and good quality companies that are that are following, you know, the regulations. Um, so these are the educated consumers and they want branded products because a lot of branded products really stand behind quality, safety, efficacy. They're investing in this ingredient. We invest in our ingredients by researching them to show that they work, to really show how they work for the consumer, explain it to the consumer so they can, in a way they can understand it. And so um, they're seeing that with these brands and they like it and they're becoming loyal, more and more loyal, and they're seeking these types of quality ingredients. And I think even our customer appreciates that as well, because we come with the whole package, right? We come with already vetted claims. We come with already, you know, 
self grass or regulatory status that's important. We come with the GMPs that are required, the marketing, the science, the continued research. So it's not just consumer, but it's within the industry as well. A brand is like a full package, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then it's just that built in trust. And as we know, you know, trust issues with the industry and this branded ingredients are really a way that we're helping to solve that. Because as you said, you're putting all that money, you know, you're investing, you, you mean it. And, and consumers are really understanding that. Like we said, there's, there's another stat I'll just tell you from the CRM mm -hmm. survey, because, you know, branded ingredients, obviously the investment is being put into them, but the finding is that 63% of supplement users are willing to pay the higher price when it comes to supplements with branded ingredients. And um, the consumers in the survey indicated that supplements made with branded ingredients can cost more due to quality and effectiveness. So they know this, they understand it. And, and I think that's an important move that the industry is making to help build that trust all the way through. So I'm glad yeah. to see you today. I love that you're, you know, the way you say it's the full package for your customers and that it passes on to the consumers. I totally agree that consumers are starting to to pick up on that. Um, and I like I see the soapbox right over there. I'm not going to jump on it, but it's so important. I will say this. It's just so important, um, you know, the economy of our industry and the fact that you guys are pouring millions of dollars into research and proving things, the branded ingredient platform and how people need to look for that because that research is paid for. And it, it only continues if people look for those branded ingredients. So I love the fact that you're approaching this in, in that sort of way and passing on, you know, this full set of, of um, tools, solutions, whatever you want to call them for your customers, for retailers, for consumers. So very cool. Yeah. Yep. We work on consumer awareness so that they can, you know, understand our brand and, and that really is to our customer having, you know, more people recognizing our brand, but a lot of people don't under, a lot of consumers, you know, we still have work to do because a lot of consumers don't understand the brand of the ingredient behind the dietary supplement. So, mm -hmm. you know, they think, oh, it's something I can just buy, you know, Cetri, it'll be a bottle, you know, but it, yeah. it's not right. So it's an ingredient within that bottle they pick up. And so there is a lot of misconception there with the consumer and some education around that. But like I said, the ones in that survey, you know, the more educated ones familiar with supplements and we're seeing more and more consumers, more and more familiar, especially the younger generations are really big consumers. And that yeah. was actually another thing when I was on the website and I took the quiz and kind of got my results. And then, you know, it said, you know, here's the brands, here's the, you know, the branded products that you can get, go get this in. So that's it great. Made, yeah. Oh, great. And <laughs> as a consumer, I appreciate that always. Yes, yeah. that's, that's important. And we've tried to make those connections whenever we do, you know, the websites and then the marketing too, to show them like, okay, here's what we're talking about, but then this is what, what you're going to buy in the store, right? Yeah, well, great. Well, so we've covered a ton in a fairly short amount of time, but I wondered, Daniel, do you have any other key takeaways for the audience? Anything you want to point out before we sign off? No, I mean, just, you know, I think, what you did, Maggie, was awesome. You know, go to our website, check out our website, take the quiz, you know, learn more about antioxidants. Even if you don't take our supplement, think about it with your diet. Think about how you can increase it. Nice. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you for talking to us. I know you'll keep us informed on in uh, wholefoodsmagazine.com. We'll be updated on any new research. You have sent everything our way and we'll help spread the news. And it was great talking to you. Thank yeah, thanks, you. Danielle. It is a pleasure. Thank you. All right. I've got a quiz to take. See you you guys do. Later. Get on it. Your free radicals are swirling after all that activity. You need to <laughs> <laughs> take care. Bye.